So welcome to my death of discharge video. In this video, we're going to tell you how to do death of discharge. So as you can see here, this is what's happening. This is the ME3000SP so far inverter. It's a three kilowatt inverter and they do make the five kilowatt inverters, etc. All, the, all these are of the five kilowatt ones are the ones that can take more load. So you can have more things on and your batteries are obviously set to you know, only put out three kilowatts from the inverter at any one time. And in most households, this will be fine. And there's no problem. There's, I don't think there's any reason to have five kilowatts unless you have lots of heavy appliances in your house. And you might have three washing machines, one dryer, one kettle. Then you might need five kilowatt just to get the capacity from the batteries. But not a normal household, three kilowatts is fine. As you can see from the um, top and um, left, there's 3.2 kilowatts coming from the solar panels upstairs, which is a 16 solar panel. It's a four kilowatt system, it's a very hot day. Um, it's June the 21st, obviously it's just gone off there. We'll switch it back on. And um, it's a very hot day. So you're getting 3.2 kilowatts, near enough full capacity. And um, we've got nothing coming from the grid. So it means that obviously we're using um, the battery system and we're using solar panels. Nothing has been drawn from the grid, so no bills. Um, in the house, you've got 45 kilowatt consumption. And the way the inverter balances things up is it, it detects how much charge is coming from the top, the solar panels, um, and how much has been drawn from the actual load, which is that light bulb, which is the house, and the difference it puts back into the batteries. Um, when obviously the sun goes out, there might be clouds coming and the, and the kilowatts drop, the battery system will take over and the batteries will start powering the house. Um, if there's obviously too much solar and the batteries are full um, and there's not enough load going from into the actual um, house, you'll get the excess so solar pa panel um, kilowatts going back out to the grid. That's just the way it works because it needs to put the charge somewhere. Now, as you can tell, depth of discharge, if you basically press that button there and you can see um, go to settings, system information, press return, there you'll see there you've got our Ver software version 3.09 um, for the SOFAR S ME 3000 SP and we've got all the statistics there UK and we've got work mode auto which most people have EPS mode which is 10 seconds and we'll talk about EPS in our next video and we've got all this information as well and if you look at the bottom there we've got 90% discharge death EPS now that basically means the batteries will discharge at any any time of ninety percent, and then basically um, you know start the charge or stop discharging. Um, ninety percent is enough the full capacity. Um, you obviously need to inv update your firmware on some inverters, like I had to do in this one, so the latest version, which is three point zero nine firmware, and then it, that supports ninety percent DOD death of discharge. And um, so on your own individual inverter, you'll have to see which firmware which software which will support 90 percent um, DOD as you can see their battery capacity 518 and I explained in my earlier video that it should be 525 but 518 is just what it rounds it down to you know but you're still getting the full capacity from the batteries anyway you shouldn't really worry about these numbers and um, all it is the, inter the actual inverter itself interpreting what it's getting from the BMS of the batteries that it's connected to so as you can see there um, that our firmware version on this and we got all US 3000C batteries connected, seven of them um, our software version is 3.09 um, on the ME 3000 SP inverter and um, some inverters you buy will have the updated firmware already on them but some of them you might need to actually um, get it from the manufacturer just to support a higher DOD most of your default DOD death of discharge is going to be 80% that isn't a problem um, and it's not really going to affect your life cycle of your batteries. Um, each battery has got a life cycle of 6,000 cycles which is about 15 years. Um, average if it charges, discharges every couple of days. And um, Having 90%, having 80% is not going to really increase your life of your battery. Um, and a lot of people do say well, it increases your life of your battery. It doesn't. It, it actually depends on how many times the battery cycles. So these sort of batteries, Pylon Techs, US 3000C, 
um, US 2000 seat. They have a cycle like of 6000 and I think the US 5000 which is a high capacity battery and we sell them as well. They've got an actual um, cycle of more than 6000 but it doesn't actually specify what it's going to be just more than 6000. And so any questions just obviously message me. Please subscribe to my video. Any help you need then um, just send me a message and then um, we can obviously go from there. Thanks for watching my video. Bye for now.